What's up guys, today's video on the top 5 stylish watches reviews through intensive research and testing we put together listed options they will meet different types of buyers so whether it's price, performance or particular use we covered all for more information on products I have included the links in description box down below which you updated for best price. 5 Citizen Polyurethane Strap Man's Watch I think at some point in every watch collector's life cycle, the idea of an isolated, accurate, and self-sustaining timepiece becomes remarkably fascinating. The hunger for accuracy can come from anywhere, but it can often stem from our frustrations with mechanical pieces that have let us down. As TBWS has evolved, the concept of a grab-and-go quartz option has been something several readers and listeners have pursued ferociously at, and the Citizen EcoDrive Pro Master Diver seems to be an option that consistently comes out on top. For me, this is a watch that holds a special place in my heart, after Cuz gave the wristwatch to me as a gift a few years ago. Now after serving me for quite some time. I think it's a great idea to finally get my thoughts down on the site. It's a good idea to start with what was perhaps most surprising after getting this one on the wrist to case proportions. The watch almost feels lugeless and the compact fit really translates well on the stock strap or an ADO. On paper, we have a 43mm case diameter, 48mm lug to lug distance and a thickness of just 11.5 millimeters. Combine that with the super lightweight nature of the EcoDrive movement, and you have a watch that almost feels like a titanium diver a broken bar especially on a nylon strap. Water resistance is 200 meters and I had no qualms about taking this one swimming in the hood canal off the beautiful shores of Sieg, Wa. Even with options from brands like Doxa, CWC, and Omega spanning my collection. I'm still very proud of owning the Citizen Eco Drive Pro Master Diver A. It's honestly just a great watch. Jogging, and casual days at the office. Really, I find it hard to believe that anyone could be on the fence about this Onia, especially now that prices are dipping so low. Sure, the bezel could be a little less slippery, but that really is my only issue with the watch. One strike. That's it. That almost never happens in a watch review. To learn more about the Citizen EcoDrive Pro Master Diver, for Citizen of IHOC AT Watch, upping the SRPD on your wrist is a bit like catching up with an old friend after a few years of not seeing each other. Some things have changed and some things have stayed the same, but at their core, the personality remains largely the same. That's a bit what my experience with the new line of SRPDs is like. I'm a long-time owner, and huge fan, of an SKX-173, and after hearing that the legendary SKX line has been discontinued, the decreased water resistance and lack of screw-down crown immediately jumped out to me as potential problems with what used to be a rock-solid, ISO-certified diver. However, the Sacco 5 line is no slouch. They needed an automatic movement, a day, date display at 3 o'clock some degree of water resistance, a recessed crown at 4 o'clock, and a case and bracelet built for durability. The new SBRDs earned a 5 badge on their dial by meeting each of these key elements of design. Let's take an in-depth look at a few watches from the extensive SRPD lineup, appropriately nicknamed the 5KX, and see if they do justice to the long history of the Sacco 5 and the iconic divers that they're so closely based on. This model features a mate metallic blue dial with cream-colored indices. The effect is subtle, and the cream looks way more pronounced in Sacco's renderings than it is in person. On the second's hand, you'll find some bright red paint at the tip which makes it easier to see at a glance. The dial looks great in bright light and I really enjoyed the matte effect over the metallic dial. It's subtle, yet interesting without being blingy or distracting. The dial on the SRPD series has to be the most impressive part of the watch. Throughout the lineup, there are tons of different colors, finishes, and textures to choose. 9 Sega Automatic Mechanical Watch Well first things first. This watch definitely has a lot going on. It's an extremely busy dial with tons of information going on. Personally, it's not something I'm a fan of but for the watch goer who wants lots of gizmos you may have found your dream watch. This watch really does have tons of features, 
But is it worth the cost? That's what we're going to delve into and have a look at now. They've gone for a mineral glass on this watch. To be honest I was actually expecting a sapphire crystal front. Mineral glass is strong enough yes. It's going to protect against most scuffs and scratches but just not to the extent a sapphire would. Now this is a large watch. The diameter of the casing is 46 millimeters. That's at the high end of what's considered larger versus extra large. The thickness however is extra large at 15.5 millimeters. This is definitely a chunky watch that's going to be noticeable on your wrist. If you were after a watch that sat subtly on your wrist. Walk away now and check out some of my watch lists for more inspiration. If however you're after an eye-catching wrist watch, you'll love this. People won't be able to not notice it. Diving watch, echo drive solar powered technology, analog slash digital, overcharging prevention feature, negative, light on dark, display, power reserve indicator, radio controlled atomic timekeeping, five time zones, Japan, Fukushima station. Kyushu Station, USA, Den, Germany, China, Signal Reception Indicator, World Time Function Displays Current Time and Data of 43 Pre-Programmed Cities, 1 one hundredth Second Digital Chronograph Measures Split Time, Alarm Mode, with World Time Alarm for Set City, Bidirectional Pilots Slide Rule Inner Bezel Marked by Black and White Print, Arabic Numbers, Indices, Standard, Daylight Saving Time Feature, Perpetual Calendar, Digital day date month and year display, at coordinated universal time, subdial, mode indicator subdial, 24 hour subdial, glossy black, white hands with luminous accents, glossy white sweep seconds. How to conclude day? It's really a fantastic looking watch with tons of features. The perpetual calendar, the atomic time keeping, solar powered. You can really see why it gets into the more expensive selection of watches. Only thing I felt was missing was the sapphire glass but I'll leave it up to you to decide at how much that matters. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. To Citizen Avian Eco Drive Man's Watch For at least three decades, I have been a big fan of mechanical automatic watches and have made a great effort to stay away from battery operated watches. I probably own a few more than a dozen automatic watches. And for the most part, I have had a good experience with them. Some of them do lose a bit of time at night when they are at rest, while others never skip a beat. No matter how long I have not worn them, with a few shakes and a time reset, all is well and they have all been good to go. I now get the chance to test, review and add the Sega Design C-Series Mechanical Titanium watch to my collection. Let's see if I am still happy after wearing it for a while. The Sega Design C-Series Mechanical Titanium watch is a transparent, fully automatic, water-resistant timepiece made from titanium and sapphire crystal that is designed for men. Before I discuss the watch, I must mention the box that it comes in. The sort of titanium colored slim box and sleeve make it a simply beautiful package. If the presentation was everything, this watch gets 100%. The body of the watch includes an attractive titanium case, with a completely see-through mechanism. The watch came with two bands, one leather and one's from a hypoallergenic silicone composition. I chose the latter since I have always found leather bands not to be my thing. The red marking on the hands makes the time readable in both low light and overly bright conditions. I usually wear watches that are round in design and over the years I have not been a fan of cases that deviate from that design. However, I have to say that I really like this watch. It is very attractive and I get regular compliments when wearing it. As a matter of fact, I have received offers from friends to purchase it from me. However, they are out of luck because this watch is now a permanent member. One Steyr Co-Pilot Watch Steyr is an American jewelry brand that is dedicated to providing premium quality jewelry and watches at affordable rates. Although a relatively new entrant to the market, they have successfully managed to make a name for themselves particularly in the entry-level wristwatch market. The primary reason behind their success is undoubtedly the affordability of their products, which they claim to maintain through a clever process of avoiding middlemen and efficient techniques of production. While reading up on the brand and how their production process works, I was really impressed by their production and marketing strategy. Steyr does not have wholesalers, 
and they also don't pay big money to rent expensive shops or hire prominent celebrities to promote their products. They keep things clean and straightforward, which allows them to incur lower costs. They stay true to their brand signature afford the extraordinary by offering a wide range of watches, jewelry, and accessories at surprisingly affordable rates. And unlike a lot of other brands in the same price range, their products are actually of pretty decent quality. With that being said, I'd also like to add that Stair is, after all, an entry-level watch brand. Though their products are pretty good for the price, if you're expecting a similar perfection and precision as that of the Swiss makers, you'd be pretty disappointed. So that's it for the best 5 stylish watches. Thanks for watching video do subscribe for more amazing videos and hit like button comment below and share with your friends.